Cronin presents the rare opportunity for a wide range of athletes with different skill sets to coexist on one field. Throwing is a core skill in Cronin, but a player must master a new range of throwing techniques, each evolved to suit the demands of a new game. This tutorial will coach you in the three prominent styles which have emerged thus far in the Cronin League. The jump throw in Cronum most closely relates to a throw in Team Handball. Some Cronum pros have different variations in the jump throw. There's a more set approach with a simple stride off the back foot, a slight crow hop into a more subtle jump throw, or the most common involving two strides with the player leaping forward toward the chamber from the flex or cross zone. Notice the arm slot, not fully extended as you would see in baseball, or tucked between the ear and chin like you would see in football. The Cronum jump throw falls somewhere between the two opposing mechanics, with your non-dominant arm leading your momentum and guiding your accuracy. Coupled with your non-dominant leg is your plant foot, used to explode off the turf, out to the wedge. The hook throw has its roots from a soccer keeper throw. There are few Cronum pros who effectively use the hook as an offensive weapon, but those who do know its reward. The hook throw is clocked as the hardest throw in Cronum at 61 miles per hour. Speed and power outweigh accuracy with this throwing mechanic. When attempting to execute a hook throw, the ball is grasped with a curled wrist position, cradled between your hand and your forearm. It is crucial that your front shoulder remains closed. If opened, it will be detrimental to your accuracy. Similar to the jump throw, the player explodes outward toward the goal on their non-dominant leg from the cross or flex zone. The ring shot in Cronum simulates a jump shot in basketball. This shot targets one of the five rings of the crown to complete a six-point shot. It is a dangerous weapon, but generally the most difficult shot to execute. The technique is similar to the basketball jump shot, with the player bringing his elbow up until it is aligned with the ring, then propelling the ball with a complete follow-through of the wrist. The supporting hand not only guides the ball, but keeps it in place due to the fact that the Cronum ball is lighter than a basketball. Jumping from the flex toward the wedge brings the player closer to his target while adding momentum to the shot. The greater the arc, the more difficult it is for wedgebacks to time their block. To join the revolution, visit Cronum.com. Change the game.